Should you take COVID booster shots? Check this out first. The big question is, why do you need the COVID booster shot? An Israeli study of 1 million people published in the prestigious New England Journal of Medicine this month found that Pfizer's booster shot resulted in a tenfold reduction in COVID infection. Pfizer's study found that the booster shot increases antibodies that block the COVID virus by threefold. Vaccine protection fades five months after the second shot and may not fully protect against mild cases of COVID, even though it protects against severe cases and hospitalization. Are you eligible for the COVID booster vaccine? There are four broad groups of people who are eligible. One, if you are 65 years or older. Two, if you live or work in long-term care facilities. Three, if you have underlying medical conditions that put you at high risk of getting severe COVID. And four, if you work in jobs that have high exposure to COVID. We will review each one of these in detail next. But before we proceed, please do us a favor by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. It really helps us get our message to viewers. Thank you very much. Now we will discuss adults with underlying medical conditions. The CDC defines several underlying medical conditions and risk factors for getting severe COVID, and they are eligible to get booster shots. Let's look at the list. Pregnant women, adults with autoimmune diseases, those with diabetes, both type 1 and type 2, those with high blood pressure, cancer patients, people with heart conditions like coronary artery disease, those with chronic kidney disease, chronic lung disease like COPD, cystic fibrosis and asthma, those with dementia and Alzheimer's, Down syndrome, and more. It also includes smokers, both current and former, and overweight adults with a body mass index or BMI of just over 25. This list covers tens of millions of Americans and all of them are eligible to get booster shots. With tens of millions with underlying medical conditions, how does age factor in? The CDC says that if you are 50 to 65 years old with underlying medical conditions, you should get a booster six months after the second dose. The keyword here is should. However, if you are 18 to 49 years old with underlying medical conditions, you may get a booster six months after the second dose based on your own individual risks and benefits. The recommendation may is a bit judgmental, so you can decide that. For example, let's say that you are 35 years old and have diabetes, but you have it under control and are in good health. You may skip the booster shot for now. People with weakened immune systems have a more aggressive set of recommendations from the CDC. They are eligible for the booster shots just four weeks after the second dose, instead of six months wait time for everyone else. Why? Because those with weakened immune systems cannot build effective antibodies to protect against COVID. The booster is really a third dose for them to help their weakened immune system to build needed antibodies to protect them against COVID. Who are those with weakened immune systems? Examples in include those who are receiving cancer treatment and organ transplant recipients, those with HIV, and anyone on drugs that suppress the immune system. So far, we have discussed booster shots for the Pfizer vaccine. But what if you were vaccinated with the Moderna vaccine or the Johnson & Johnson vaccine? The answer to that is, wait for some time. Because the FDA and CDC have not made any recommendations for other vaccines yet, regulators are expected to come up with recommendations for these in the next month or two. 
Because Moderna and Pfizer vaccines are based on similar mRNA technology, we expect the Moderna vaccine to get CDC recommendations similar to those for Pfizer vaccine. Stay tuned to hear more. What are the steps to get your booster shot? First check if you qualify by going through the CDC recommendations we had discussed earlier. Next, verify the date of your second dose to see if it is six months since that date. If you have a weakened immune system, it should be four weeks after the second dose. The third step is call your pharmacist or your healthcare facility where you can get the vaccine. Most importantly, don't delay and get the booster shot. Some people are worried about red tape to check if you qualify for a booster. It will likely be an honor system where you decide to take the booster shot based on your health risks. It will unlikely involve an in-depth review of your health records or any formal approval steps to qualify for the booster. Thank you all for watching. For more resources, check out girlstemacademy.org. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and all podcast streaming sites at Girl STEM Academy. Again, please like and subscribe to this video if you haven't already. It really helps us spread our message. See you in the next video.